Chit chat Kit Kats. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, last night I'm I did order the arches um watercolor paper. The uh it is so interesting when you open it up. I go, did I order black paper? <laughs> but no, no, thank God, no. <laughs> it's just got an extra covering. And what's nice about this, when you're doing the watercolor, it's not going to buckle on you while you're working. So here it is, little cabin on the lake in the forest. And uh, we have the... On this side, the little mountains kind of coming down, and we've got the three angels there, the three angels. So here it is, cabin on a lake. Now, what I like about this watercolor paper is it really takes the color well. And I have not sealed this yet, so um, yeah. Once I seal it, it's going to pop even more. Um, so I do like that. We've got soft angels this time, you know, the very soft. We have some red, red redwood trees and then a lot of smaller, um, smaller pine trees, a few different types of trees here. But uh, yeah, this was a fun, this is an eight by eight watercolor. Um, so, Anyway, worked on that last night. Um, I wanted to do a different technique, but it's not possible on this type of paper because this, this type of paper, this is the um, um, cold press, I think of this one. Yeah, cold pressed. So I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm, a, I'm not a trained artist. I, I'm all self-taught, so... Uh, you know, but I want to really thank thank the artists out there that have been helping me through this process and, and sending me information. I do really appreciate it. All your guidance and your help and your encouragement, etc. Oh my goodness, you guys are so lovely. So lovely. And uh, so anyway, yeah, we just continue to art out. It comes from our soul. I might not be the most technically savvy artist, but what I put out comes from the soul. It comes from the heart, you know, and that's what art is. It's about expression and putting that expression out in the world. And each of us, you know, I love to watch that uh, portrait artist of the year or the landscape artist of the year, that series. And it's amazing to look at just how different people's art is, and they're all looking at the same subject matter, okay? <laughs> You're looking at the same subject matter, but then you see the creative differences, the way it gets interpreted. Amazing, you know, a really just an amazing process to see how people process things. And then looking at catalogs of different artists' work, whether it's Monet or George Innes, or uh, there were a couple of really interesting Russian painters that I had seen recently, just the use of color. There's one of them that, um, let me see if I still have his, I think I cleared out that note, but, um, Oh, no, it's Ivan Ivarovsky. I think it's Ivan Ivarovsky. Oh, my goodness. He, did, he does these amazing paintings and the colors and the skies and the colors and the just absolutely amazing. I looked at some of his artwork. I'm going to go through and look at it again. Um, but just, wow. Now, once I never got into her like Pablo Picasso, I just don't get into the cubism and, and that type of really disjointed. It, for, for me, it feels very schizophrenic. I, it's not my, my thing, but a lot of people love it, okay? So 
something for everyone. Uh, artwork, I think, just really touches people on an emotional level. If it's something that is touching you on an emotional level, then that's great. You know, it's a great piece for you to have and to have in your space. If it is, um, again, causing you to have an emotional um, reaction to it, okay? So anyway, on that note, you know, I'm going to leave this here. But thank you, thank you, thank you for, for all of your feedback and well wishes. And for those that are wanting the artwork, I do have things packed up today that are going out. Um, okay, these are getting sent out today. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go get those off to the post office. And we'll just continue forward step by step. You know, I'm going to continue doing the artwork. It's continuing to develop. Um, it kind of has uh, shifts, you know, that are taking place uh, as far as technique and different things that are happening with it. But uh, yeah, I, I'm finding a two, like I said, using this paper is so different than than doing uh, this canvas paper or versus working on the canvas board. Um, each one of them has a different, um, the texture of it is different, the way the colors work on it is different, and so your technique uh, goes through different changes depending on um, what what you're painting um, what you're painting um, so yeah mercy so continuing to explore continuing to explore and uh, enjoying the process <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So all I could say, just enjoying the process, you know. So I'm going to leave this here, and uh, I think I might check out the, that Ivan again. Um, yeah, I think some of my stuff might be closer to Innes, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a great judge on, you know, what is my style and stuff. I don't I just paint. I don't, I don't know. I don't try to paint in a certain style. It just comes out what it comes out. Now, there are some that I really do like, like, um, you know, I like this one. The, this, this one I really like a lot, the angel one. The prayers, ascending prayers, and it, this one. I really like the colors and the feel of this one, a little bit more open and and I think you call it expressionist or, or impression impressionist. I like this. I like this feeling of openness and just a single kind of um, point there of interest, an interesting point. Okay. Um, so yeah, there are some pieces that I do that I wind up liking, you know better than other pieces, uh, the difference of them. But yeah, this one I do, I think I'm gonna maybe put this in the frame. I think I'm gonna put this in the frame for a while. So anyway, yeah. So, you know, I do like this paper, but it, it curls when you're working with it and stuff, even if I, you know, tape it down and everything. So it is an acid-free paper. Um, but anyway, um, fun stuff, fun stuff. So I'm going to leave this here, and I'll see you online. <laughs>